Hello, Ellie here with Who Culture, and we've been treated to some more juicy Doctor Who insight and uh, updates and teasers, so um, we're just going to have a little look at those. The BBC Between Programmes has these little idents that, that come up whilst um, a narrator or um, commentator is talking about what's coming next and, and things like that. And last night we had um, a Doctor Who glitch come up on the BBC Between Programmes. So we're going to break down that little teaser shot by shot and then we're going to discuss when we might perhaps see a full trailer which was kind of sneakily hinted at in that teaser. Um, but we'll get to that in a second. So without further ado, Alon Z. So we'll start with the episode images and then we'll come to all the kind of glitchy binary stuff at the end. So first of all, behind this kind of glitchy mess, there seems to be a street. In fact, the shot that is behind this glitchy mess looks to be the exact same one from the, the trailer that we got at Christmas. So I think it's just a reused image here. Um, presumably it's going to be the street where Donna and, and Sean and Rose live. Russell T Davis does like to take us inside the homes of the companions so I think that this this street is going to be very important to these characters. Speaking of reused shots we do seem to have a couple of reused shots from series four so we have this shot of the TARDIS windows this very close-up shot of the TARDIS windows which has been taken from um, Planet of the Dead from series four it's from the very end where um, the Doctor goes into the TARDIS after um, Lady Christina steals the bus and flies away. We've even got a kind of distorted version of the series for Doctor Who theme tune in this little teaser as well. So there does seem to be a lot of callbacks to this series which isn't really surprising considering that we've got um, David Tennant and Catherine Tate back and obviously Catherine Tate was very important and integral to series four. So we've also got a shot of something that looks quite time vortexy and your initial thought might be is this going to be a slight hint of the, the opening title sequence. But I would say that maybe it's a bit too basic to be that, but also knowing the um, everything that's going into this, these 60th specials and beyond, it feels like there would be more of a grand gesture for, for the opening title sequence than just this kind of tiny little shot in the teaser but I mean who knows. So it's also been pointed out that this time vortexy looking thing could also be um, the Black Sun from the Star Beast which was the comic strip that introduced Beep the Meep who we know thanks to that Christmas trailer will be involved in the 60th anniversary specials in some form. So this could definitely be something to do with that character. So the Black Sun basically changed the Meep species into these bloodthirsty warriors that we, we then see. So maybe don't go naming your dog or your cat or any pet Beep because they might look cute, but it won't end well. You know, a little bit like when everyone started naming their kids Daenerys after like season one of Game of Thrones. And then obviously the character kind of went on a very very dark and twisted journey and people might have come to regret that decision by the end of Game of Thrones so yeah. So another reused shot that we've seen is from uh, Journey's End which is the shot of Donna's hand when she's trapped in the TARDIS and she touches the Doctor's hand that's got the regeneration energy uh, which then grows into the Metacrisis Doctor. This shot doesn't really seem to have been edited really, it genuinely looks like it's just been copied and pasted from that episode in series 4 straight into this teaser here. But it does kind of beg the question of why is there so much callback to series 4 here? Now obviously with the return of David Tennant and Catherine Tate, you kind of just assumed that this was going to be another adventure of the Doctor and Donna um, and the, the whole issue of her brain literally exploding if she remembered him being resolved quite quickly so that they can go off on their adventure. But actually now, from the things that we've seen, it seems that actually Donna is the focal point of this story. Um, she really is the driving force and, and perhaps actually the, the whole brain exploding Time Lord part of her is going to be really integral to, to the story here. So, uh, you know, are all of these creatures is Beep the Meep um, and Neil Patrick Harris's character and anyone else that might be coming along, are they, are they after that dormant Time Lord part of her that she's not even aware of? Is, is, is that why they're all coming after her? And then obviously maybe 
uh, the Doctor changed into that same form of the Tenth Doctor because they kind of sensed that something was happening and thought that that face was the face that needed to come forward in order to help Donna. I don't know, maybe we're just assuming now that the Doctor has these psychic abilities and can tell what's going on to his past companions. I don't know. Maybe that is something that's happening. Literally anything can happen in this show, so... One thing I will say though is that the marketing for this these specials so far have been really clever in actually giving us loads and also giving us absolutely nothing. I mean, there's so much to unpack and give you a general basis of, of what to expect without really giving anything away, which I think is the best way to do a teaser. You don't want to, to kind of watch a trailer and, and know what's going to happen at the beginning, middle and end of a story. You, you, the whole point of a teaser is to be gripped and hooked to a certain degree to want to watch it without knowing any of those dark and, and deep twists that are coming. So the other explanation for all these reused shots from series four as well is that it could be kind of a, a previously on moment. Now, they became quite a big part of this modern era of the show, the previously little teasers that came at the beginning of episodes, especially if there was a two-parter or, or a, um, a mid-season break, just to kind of remind audiences of, of what's happened. And also with Disney Plus now, now having those streaming rights, you are essentially opening the doors for a whole new audience who might not know what has happened. And so they need to be informed going forward if they are going to watch without going back and watching watching the previous series which uh, why would you do that i mean if you're going to watch the 60th specials surely you you're going to have watched the previous stuff but you don't know what what's going through people's minds they might just switch on and think actually if i watch this previously or this little teaser i'll get the gist of what's going on it kind of blows my mind to think but people who were born when series four aired and will now be 15 years old that's that's just a terrifying thought. So moving on, we then have a shot of a unit soldier um, with these glowing eyes. Um, they look to be possessed by something or other. Now, this could very much be something to do with Beep the Meep. It looks quite similar to that black sun kind of glowy thing. Um, but it isn't uncommon for people to be possessed by something in Doctor Who. So, But I do have to say, poor unit. I mean, in The Power of the Doctor, their, their HQ literally got blown up. Um, and it looks like in, in these specials, they're basically going to be destroyed from the inside. For, for an organisation that is supposed to be there to defend the Earth against all these alien threats, they, they do seem to find themselves in a pickle quite often, don't they? <laughs> Um, and then as the trailer closes, we have um, a shot that we, we did see in the Christmas trailer, which was Donna talking to her mum, Sylvia. So nothing really new there. Um, and then we also have a new shot of the 14th Doctor, who basically is like staring into your soul directly into the camera, which is a little bit daunting. It genuinely feels like if you move, he, he might follow you. His eyes might follow you. Um, and it also does look like he is perhaps being... Uh, taken away somewhere, so maybe um, arrested or taken by unit or, or someone else that we don't know of yet. But it looks like he's kind of being escorted somewhere, um, so that's that's worth noting too. Okay, so that's all the footage from the trailer, but there are a few Easter eggs and references as well that we need to just cover. So first of all, um, there is some dialogue in this teaser, but at face value it's just gibberish, it makes no sense whatsoever until you play the teaser backwards. Then you have the 14th Doctor saying, cryptic, I hate that. And you also then have Donna saying, why did this face come back? The 14th Doctor's line kind of feels a little bit meta. It feels a little bit like the marketing team having a little joke around because this teaser is massively cryptic and it just feels a little bit like the Doctor making a little bit of an, an in-joke there about how cryptic they're making these teasers and just laughing at us, basically. But what's more interesting is Donna's line of why did this face come back? It kind of gives a little bit of a suggestion that she's a bit resentful towards the Doctor. I mean, she has a family now. So whilst those adventures that they had together at, uh, in, series, in series four were all fun and games and, and very dangerous, there's a kind of new perspective here in as much as it's not just about her anymore. I mean, there's a lot of reasons why she could be asking this question. I mean, it could all just be a complete twist 
And she might not even be referring to the Doctor at this point. You know, it could be Neil Patrick Harris for all we know. She could genuinely be talking about having seen his face in various places. So the last thing that we need to note here is that there's some lines of kind of code and binary here that um, have, have some meaning. I'm gonna read this bit so I don't say it wrong. <laughs> so at one point there is um, the line DWW, hashtag 19, hashtag 2680. So this is a nod to issues 19 to 26 of Doctor Who Weekly, which was the comic book that introduced us to Beep the Meep. Which again, as we previously mentioned, we know Beep the Meep plays um, some sort of integral role in the 60th. So um, it kind of, yeah, makes sense there. If you do want more of a breakdown on Beep the Meep, who he is and, and, and various things about the character, then if you check out um, Sean's breakdown of that Christmas trailer, he goes into a bit more detail about that character there. So you can, you can find that over there. Now the last thing that needs to be mentioned is um, also in this code was EV1305. Now we're presuming that this is in relation to Eurovision. So the Eurovision Song Contest, which will be on on the 13th of May. Whether that's a trailer, whether it's another teaser, it definitely feels like something will be coming on Saturday the 13th of May. Anyway, um, I think I've spoken about this trailer for long enough, teaser, not trailer. Um, so let us know your thoughts down below. Have we missed anything? Are we completely just barking up the wrong tree on some things? Do you have a better theory about some some of the elements? Let us know. I mean, I'm getting incredibly excited for the, the 60th anniversary. It does seem to be building up. Obviously, we've had the news of Murray Gold returning as well. Um, I think Doctor Who is in some really safe hands and judging by the marketing we've seen so far, they know what they're doing and I really do think we are in for a treat in November. Um, so yeah, let us know your thoughts down below. Uh, make sure you go and follow us on all the various social medias. You've got Twitter, Instagram, we're now on TikTok as well. Um, obviously you can find me on all those places as well. In the meantime, keep safe, look after yourselves. Um, I've been Ellie with Who Culture and in the words of River Song herself, goodbye sweeties. <laughs>